Welcome back everyone to more career mode gameplay of SRX the game and you can see we're starting out today's video a little bit different and that's because I want to bring you guys up to speed on where we are and where we're going in the future. So in today's video we're going to be running the super late models at Desert View but before we get there I want to talk a little bit about some things I'm doing behind the scenes and where we go after super late and completing this particular season. So we know we need to complete the 305s, win the championship there before we can move into the stadium truck. So what I'm doing uh, behind the scenes is I'm running through the 305 season and trying to win that championship. Right now you can see we're currently first overall in the points, so things are going well. And I want to finish that season, win the championship there, and then move into the stadium trucks, win the championship there again off camera before we move into the dirt late models because that's the next step I want to take here on the channel for this series. So for the purposes of the remainder of the time we're going to be in the super late but I did want to bring you up to speed as to what's happening behind the scenes because as we get into the main screen for the super late models you take a look in the top right hand corner and you're going to see that our money looks very different than when we were together last time and it will probably be that way for the next few videos as we finish up the super late model season and work our way into the dirt late models and i wanted you guys to know exactly what's going on there because without any explanation it would look very weird as to where all this money is coming from but now to turn our attention to the super lates so we don't have very many races remaining in this season we're doing great we're in ninth position in the standings and we haven't done a single upgrade since the very beginning of the season when we did our initial upgrades primarily we got upgrades uh, to the engine and the tires to get them upgraded a little bit to give us a chance to have some fun so ninth position overall here uh, in today's race at desert view now this is a 3 8 mile track if i hop back over to the main uh, screen we're going to be running 50 laps at this place 3 8 of a mile is pretty long and we've had mixed results so far from the longer tracks the quarter mile tracks seem to be where our bread and butter is located that's where the best racing is for us so i'm a bit apprehensive about where this is going to go with a 3 8 mile track now you notice by looking at the track map it looks very similar to phoenix with the difference being uh, notice that the start finish line is where the old phoenix start finish line was which is now on the back stretch but other than that, the shape is identical. The first place prize money, 10 grand overall. It shows medium banking. So I'm basically expecting to run on a slightly smaller version of Phoenix. Practice and qualifying in the books, and things have gone pretty good so far. You can see our practice goal time, 1335. We were able to easily beat that by a couple of tenths, almost three tenths there. Uh, but this track is going to make for some interesting racing because it is very wide and i'm not sure how much of that track the ai are going to use uh, and how much they use is going to determine how much i can use because of course they will dive bomb us uh, they have no trouble diving it in there way deeper than they can make the corner uh, so we'll just have to see how this plays out we didn't qualify all that great uh, we're well down in the field but let's see how it races all right, let's get this race started. 50 laps, should be a lot of fun. Track is very wide. We'll see how much of that the AI use. Uh, let's also see how our car is handling. Made some changes from, based on the few laps of practice and qualifying that I got. I think this is gonna race very differently than a lot of the tracks we've done so far where we could be extremely aggressive with the throttle or even full throttle for the entire lap. Oh, look out. Are we three wide here? We may very well be. Oh, yep, that was fun. Uh, to answer that question, yes, we were three wide. That is why spotters are so nice. And we almost got wrecked at the very beginning of the race. The guy on the inside, unsurprisingly, was having a lot of trouble keeping his car down. That's one thing that I found 
in practice that was very hard. Uh, in order to get the car to the bottom of the track, I had to get out of the gas really early. The car just did not want to rotate. And again, that's some things you can work out with uh, practice time and making some tweaks to the setup, but that's not what we're doing here in career mode, so we just have to deal with it. And change the way I drive the car to fit the setup that I've chosen. Somehow we're in 16th, which is where we started. I don't know how that happened because it, it was pretty wild there for the first few laps. So right now what I'm trying to figure out is where do I need to be on and off the gas to try to get to the bottom. Like right there you can see I could not get to the bottom. Drove it in too deep. I'm not using the brake right now. Oh, that was a very nice corner for us. All right, so here, I'm gonna use just a little bit of brake on corner entry to try to calm the car, try to slow it down a little bit to make sure we can run our lane. Now that we're clear, we can go back at it. I'm trying to find a good marker for corner entry right now because I wanna be able to get right down to that white line That was pretty good there, but, and again, not sure how this is, any of this is affecting our lap time. There's plenty of room on exit uh, that the AI are not using. So I'm trying not to use all of it myself. Yep, drove it in real hard there. Trying to make that pass. Keep position and make the pass and it worked. All right, so we're up to 14th now. Lap 14, position 14. And this track is driving unlike really any other track that I can think of off the top of my head that we've been to so far. And that's because the unusual shape is putting some of that in. Uh, but I'm actually having to get out of the gas on corner entry and stay out of it for longer than, you know, just a split second. And that's just based on how I'm driving it. More upgrades. Oh, look out. Are very loose there, as you could tell, watching me try to uh, not wreck it. So we'll back up trying to regroup here a little bit. Uh, you're always turning on this track for the vast majority of it uh, as we get lapped. Here, wow, 18, lap 18. We got lapped. That guy's moving pretty quick. Let's try to follow him through. If we can do it without wrecking the car, of course. Wow, you could hear me have to get way out of the gas there. Thought we might be about to wreck it. Oop, a little love tap from behind there from the leader. He wants through just as we do. And he is not enjoying himself behind this lap traffic, nor do I blame him. Wow. I basically skated the car through that corner. You saw me get down on the apron. Get loose again right there. So the changes I made to the car, I tried to stabilize the car some, but at the same time, not take all the speed out of it. I didn't want to get the car really tight. Uh, and I have sort of succeeded and failed at the same time. The car under throttle is very touchy, so we're, we're very loose under throttle which is not the same as just saying loose on exit. Under power, we are definitely loose, too loose, in fact. As long as I'm able to run a wide entry and exit to the corner, it's okay, I can manage it. But the moment we have to really uh, tighten the entry and or exit, like right here, 
car really wants to get upset. And I have to really manage it. Can't just mat the throttle right now. Which honestly, this is probably the most fun I've had driving this car. Because I can't just mat it, I can't just hold it to the floor all the way around the track or very close to that. Just reminding me that probably the most fun I can have in these cars, and really any of these cars in the game, is to get fully upgraded for the engine, get max horsepower, but then don't upgrade anything else for grip. So like literally leave everything else alone. And so you have tons of horsepower, not very much grip, and that would be a lot of fun to drive. You would be really working that car to try to get it to, to rotate and then having to work that throttle because you wouldn't be able to just mat it all the time. Because right now I'm actually having to use throttle control. All right, we got a lead lap car coming through. I'm going to let him by. So Ramirez in second. You just go right on ahead. Nothing I can do with you. But yeah, this is it. Like this. Now granted, it's not going to work out too well if you are running against these guys competitively because that's not the way the AI cars go. They have tons of horsepower and grip. But just for pure fun, max horsepower, minimum grip that the game gives you, and that should be a ton of fun. All right, this guy is another lead lap car, I believe. I could be wrong. We've seen it before where I moved out of the way and let somebody through, and it turned out it was for position. Ooh, fighting that car on exit. is so much fun to drive because I am pretty routinely turning to the right coming off the corner if I'm hard in the gas. Right, that time I could drive it up to the wall. You can see it still got loose, but I could stay in the gas. All right, I have no idea what's going on here. We're going to go to the bottom and hopefully follow these guys through. Ooh, that's second place up there. Oh, look out. Real loose. And I know second place does not like being in the middle of the track with me below him. I know he doesn't like that. And that little love tap there was to let me know that. Because if I were in his position, I wouldn't like it either. I'd be wanting these guys to, including me, to get out of the way. Oh yeah, fighting that back in. So much fun to drive. It is, like, I can't even tell you how much, how refreshing it is to have to drive this car this way instead of just being able to map the throttle and everything is easy and all that. Like, this is so much fun. And I've only got less than 10 laps to remind you guys of that, probably every lap. Because I have a huge smile on my face. Now, if we just had tire wear in the game where you start to lose grip and, and all of that, that would be amazing. But right now, I'm simulating that all on my own <laughs> because of the combination of setup and my driving style just not agreeing perfectly with the track. So we're just going to have fun with it. We're in 11th position, and look in the rearview mirror. That virtual mirror at the top of the screen is, well, nothing. They are having uh, a lot of trouble because we know there's lap cars back there, but there's also lead lap cars. We saw second and third in that mess, so apparently they haven't been able to get through that. All right, four laps to go. Four laps of fun remaining. All right, yeah, here they come. They've finally gotten clear of that traffic, and now the anger, we're in full road rage mode probably. So if they get to me, I will not be staying in the way. I <laughs> will be giving them room. All right, you go right ahead. We are not racing you for position. 
you can see he ran me down from way back. However, now we're passing him back. <laughs> that, that is, again, no fun. Maximum frustration for that guy. Ramirez, poor guy. Now, how many people were on the lead lap? Five cars on the lead lap. Yikes. That's all. But check this out. The winner, that's almost hard to fathom. He won by almost 20 seconds. 20 seconds. You want to talk about a guy getting through traffic. Now we know second and third were not because we saw them quite a bit toward the end of the race and we saw how much they were struggling but that was that was so much fun folks that's the way the game should handle all the time when you're fully upgraded on both horsepower and grip that's the way the car should drive you should have to have throttle control you should have to work the car and your lane and your entry and exit and all those things you should have to do that that normally we don't have to do at most of these tracks so this is automatically going to be one of my favorite tracks now nashville will always be my favorite track period but this one is certainly going to be among my favorites and actually one that um, at some point i'm going to come back here with a fully upgraded motor and nothing else upgraded at all and really have some fun at this track but for today not a bad race we come home inside the top dozen in 11th let's see what kind of money we get because we are saving that money up for that dirt late model now all right, 11th position and our season standing we actually gained a spot because i'm pretty sure we were in ninth before this race so we moved up to eighth that means somebody in front of us did not have a good race at all so we will take that let's move on to the money $5,200 plus our sponsor payouts and the merch, which is steadily climbing. Our merch, $224. Now, one of the things I wish they would do is, is let that be the same. Our number of fans and our merchandise and carry that through all the series instead of having to start over every time. Uh, but that aside, $11,000 more to add to our total, I like it. That is just more upgrades we're going to be able to purchase when we get to the dirt lot, late model. So with that in mind, this was so much fun today, and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Lots of beating and banging in today's race. We had side-by-side. -side. We had three wide, sometimes maybe four wide that didn't work out so well. But overall, tons of fun. Thank you guys so much for joining me, and stick around for more SRX.